the UK has been compromised and I'm doing all I can. I mean, and I'm being serious, I mean compromised by the Tory party, the ERG, the Conservative elite establishment, political party foundations, the royals, the lords, the knights, the dames, the madams. We are literally being sold out. Do you... You know why we left the EU? For BRICS. They didn't think they'd lose Donald Trump and they didn't think they'd lose Boris Johnson. It was all meant to be wrapped up by 2024 or 2025. And you can't trust Elon Musk, you can't trust Rupert Murdoch, you can't trust Boris Johnson, you can't trust Netanyahu, you can't trust Putin, you can't trust China, you can't trust the Indian Prime Minister, you can't trust... Any Tory guys at the top, Michael Gove, Dominic Cummings, Steve Bannon, uh, Donald Trump, Mayor Giuliani, um, Theresa May, David Cameron, Pretty Patel, Sula Brueverman, Dominic Robb, Matt Hancock, James Cleverly, um, Ben Wallace, the, the whole of the head of military over over 15 or 13 years has all been rigged. Uh, you can't trust Savage Javid. It's all, they're all heads now. In the BBC, they're head of Tory. Head in the army, Tory. Head of the military, Tory. Head of MI5, Tory. Head of MI6, Tory. Uh, head of RAF, Tory. Uh, head of Royal Navy, Tory. It's not hard to brainwash you lot because we've already had no independent media. The only person that was close. It was just Carol Cadwaller. She, she was looking at Farage and banks. I mean, they're tiny fish. Banks and... Banks. Banks. So the only person that was close was the Guardian Cadwaller. But she was looking at the baby chump. The baby chump fish. And that was Nigel Farage. That was Nigel Farage and banks. She was too fixated on them. The bigger guys are Dominic Cummings, Steve Bannon, David Cameron, anything to do with the Middle East oil princes, um, Donald Trump, Michael Gove, Mayor Giuliani, Theresa May, Pretty Patel, Savage Javid, Matt Hancock, uh, Dominic Raab, Sula Breverman, uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg. Oh my God, Jacob Rees-Mogg is the most narcissistic corrupt person on the fucking planet alongside Boris Johnson Bibby all these wars you can thank to these guys COVID-19 slew everything down I had COVID twice and I was breathless on my home stairs for weeks to months they did not want to lock the country down because then you might start thinking outside of the box. You might duck, duck, go research. You might join TikTok. You might join Freds. You might ditch the Daily Mail, the Daily Express, the Sun, the Telegraph, uh, GB News, Sky News, ITV News, BBC News. You might ditch all these. They weren't meant to lose Trump. They weren't meant to lose a second term. Why do you think Trump is cooping? Because Boris Johnson and, and the Tory party and the uh, got Republicans want to join BRICS. And then they're going to rape South Africa and Brazil for minerals. For minerals. So although South Africa and um, Brazil are in BRICS, they're going to be raped for their minerals and oils, and whatever else they find. China owns most cobalt mines now, which means war is coming. The, the UK has no democracy. I've been trying to do everything I can. The corrupt people are the Tory party elites. No one thinks a working class man should look up to a lord but they do 
you've been indoctrinated. The royal family is scum, apart from Harry and Meghan and his children. And you, people won't like that. Every newspaper in the UK and the USA is echoing that Donald Trump's election was stolen three years into this. Putin wants Ukraine, China wants Taiwan. I don't know what India wants. Yet they want something. You're being played. This shit goes deep. Follow the Italian secret services who announced in 2023 they were spying on the KGB Evening Standard Sun in Italy and they were surprised to find a home secretary that had fleed the Met Police or MI5 or MI6 handlers. Why do you think they were scared of Jeremy Corbyn in December 2019 when he said in the House of Commons, I have 400 pages of redacted papers and it implies that the NHS is going for sale. Who has healthcare, stocks, oils and shares? Gop, Republicans, Tory party, dictatorships, unstable countries. I now am suspicious about World War I and World War Two. I think the Great British Empire wanted to create Israel so that they could have so they could hide behind anti Semitism with their allies, France and the USA. And that way you could never question conservatism. Or Zionism. And who else wanted to get rid of nukes from the Scottish Sea? Nicola Sturgeon. And Jeremy Corbyn would have given that a a vote. They knew we were going to war. COVID-19 changed everything. You should all get off of Twitter. Why do you think he bought it? To mass manipulate over 2024 and 2025 general elections. It's why I've been banned permanently. Scott 1984 FP. Between the time of December 2022 and April 2023. I was banned. I managed to get in. And then then once they realised I was in. They permanently banned me. They won't let me have my archive. Guess what Elon Musk deleted? The start of Twitter servers. I believe Twitter starts in 2007. And to the run up of 2014. What mystery 2014 or 2013 chats could there be for the Trump and the Boris Johnson and the Leave EU referendums that start? within one to two years of 2014. You don't have independent journalism yet in the UK or the USA or Australia or Canada, New Zealand, Europe, dictatorships. Funny also, a lot of ex-Great British colonies don't have independent media. Rupert Murdoch is a dangerous dangerous man